got my new shirt, black rifle. Hold on, struggling. Give me this. I'm struggling. But check out the new black rifle shirt. That's a pretty cool one. I like this one. This is my favorite one they've they've had. They got a bunch of new clothes over there for the summer. Mostly peaceful. Is that we, what you are? I'm mostly peaceful. I would say may, maybe not even mostly, but I'm semi-peaceful. <laughs> Depends on if you bite a frog or if you bite a wacky rig. If you bite a wacky rig, I'm mostly peaceful. If you bite a frog, I'm not peaceful at all. This is a new type of video today. This is a GoPro on a stick video. Like a, that dude, what's that dude's name with the puppet, Jeff Dunham? You got a GoPro on a stick. <laughs> Jalapeno on a stick. Okay, Kyle. Okay. Tell us the plan for the next few days. It is July 7th, maybe? 6th. It's the 6th? Yep. And we are in full-blown packing, getting ready for St. Lawrence River mode right now. We got... Five spinning rods. Five. More spinning rods I've ever had in my entire life. But, hey, small mouth, like small baits, light line, deep water, shallow water, big baits. They like all kinds of stuff. But we're going to try to simplify this year, which I've simplified every year going to the St. Lawrence. And I actually feel like this is the St. Lawrence River has been a very frustrating tournament for me because both years I feel like I have found enough fish to do really well and not put them in the boat or made some bad decisions and you know that's just sometimes you're gonna make bad decisions in fishing tournaments you know and there's when you're at the level of the elite series it's like one tiny small decision can impact your entire day entire tournament everything and like one little bitty tiny decision can be the difference in like a 15th place or a 70th place last year I made a bad decision on day two because the weather changed the wind changed and I guess I played it a little bit safe which I usually do not do the first year I just had you know some bad luck but this year hopefully it'll be all ironed out hopefully we got all our bad luck bad decisions out in the first six events we've had quite a bit of bad luck quite a bit of bad decisions hopefully now we'll be a little more refined and ready to go so st lawrence river looking actually forward to this one it's one of the terms i was <laughs> looking forward to the most this year which is kind of a surprise but things are a little bit different this year so this could be this could be a fun one really could be a fun one could if there's a small mouth tournament that's going to take 100 pounds for four days this year, we're gonna hit it pretty right, in my opinion. We just gotta go see if we can find them, find big ones, and put them in the boat, because it's hard to put a small mouth in the boat. Tell them what we did yesterday. Yesterday, oh gosh. That was, we should have filmed that, but I was kinda, we shouldn't have filmed that. That was embarrassing. <clears throat> so, we've been traveling a lot this year, which is not really an excuse, so we've been home for a few weeks now. But but we've, been, we've been living life. We've been living life. We've been having a good time. But we organized the truck, cleaned out the truck, organized the bed of the truck, which is, I mean, there's so much fishing stuff. And, you know, whenever you're traveling these tournaments, you take, I take a full set of extra batteries. I take a full, you know, a full set of extra battery chargers. I take all the baits I think I could use, all the extras I think I could use, More extra rods, rods extra reels, motor. Ex extra trolling motor, props everything like i take extra everything that i think i might could possibly need and most of the time i don't need any of it most of the time everything works you know the way it's designed to and we have a, a service yard which is phenomenal anything that goes wrong with the mercury which is rare i pull up get it fixed the camus i haven't had to fix anything on it this year but there's people there if i if i have to so i take extra stuff just to keep you know me feeling like I'm prepared and a lot of extra for the boat, a lot of extra stuff for the fishing and tackling and stuff like that. But we also have 
stuff at home that's like tackle i've been getting in tons of 13 fishing baits i've got so much prototype baits and tons of baits that from untamed we got some new jigs coming out that i've got boxes of at home so it's just all kinds of stuff like that that whenever i get the shipments in a lot of times i'll just sit them and say i'll organize them later yesterday was, was later, later. Yeah. yeah that's whenever we put them all in our gamakatsu g boxes organized everything up went to walmart and bought some some totes to fit all the new 13 fish and salt plastics in and we've kind of got it now more organized we still got a little bit of stuff to do we've got some loose lures which is the hardest thing to organize but yesterday was a daggum cleaning day organizing day getting ready to go day my my packing does not consist of packing clothes or anything like that i got two or three tournament jerseys i wear the striker x2 tournament shorts that's what i wear all the time i can pack four or five pairs of those two or three tournament jerseys and a couple of the striker alpha bear shirts and that'll get me through the summer period that's that's all i'm gonna wear take a pair of flip-flops a couple pair of tennis shoes i really like tennis shoes if y'all don't know that about the channel i'm a big fan of shoes like y'all see me i fish in jordans for a while if i could find another pair that i like i really like the way that i fished in those i just can't find another pair that look good that are also comfortable at the same time so but i do like tennis shoes so i take a few pair of tennis shoes every time i go somewhere and then some flip-flops that's not all all the clothes that i'm going to pack but now the fishing lures and the rods and the reels we are taking tons of that type of stuff always do and about 40 hats i do take a bunch of hats a lot of hats so hats are had there's a little bit of variance in hats like this is this is one of my favorite hats to wear right now because it fits really really well and this is a you know a black rifle hat it's a richardson 112 everybody knows a richardson 112 but i've got i don't know how many richardson 112s at home and they are not all created equal some of them are uncomfortable some of them the bills crooked on them you know and i'm not trying to dog on richardson or nothing i'm just saying like there's a lot of variance in hats if you get like hats that are not richardson's are even worse there's even more variance in them so take a bunch of hats i've got a bunch of hats right here actually hanging up right here in the back of the truck so yeah i keep take a bunch of hats so what, what are we going to do the next few days so today we are picking up the boat from wedowie we'll be over there in we have the aluminum boat behind us we have the bandit in tow in tow i can almost feel those bass on lake wedowie being afraid right now and I wish I could tell them, hey, I'm not going to fish today. I'm just going to drop it off and get it serviced because this boat does not get, you know, hasn't been serviced in quite a while. So just going to let them change the oil, stuff like that. But those fish on we day right now, I can feel them shaking. I know they're terrified because they know if I put that bandit in, it's bad news for them. But we're not going to do that. What's the weather going to be like in there? I haven't checked it. I have not checked it. But if I had to guess, I'd say highs in the upper 70s low 80s oh god lows in the in the 60s and that's what it's gonna be like in alabama right now it's about as hot as it could possibly it's highs in the 200s and lows in the 150s is what it feels like out here and you can't breathe because the humidity we were actually in vegas whenever a couple weeks ago and it was like 105 every day it got up to like 109 one day i think 108 and you can walk around outside no problem like I, I wear a hoodie sometimes like a light hoodie when i'm playing poker because they they blast the air conditioner in vegas in the summer which they they rightfully should because you don't want to be hot when you're playing but it's like in the poker rooms a lot of times it'll be cold like it'll be like for real like you'll need a hoodie to sit there for a while and then i could walk out of the casino wearing a hoodie no problem at all like i don't want to wear a hoodie i would not wear a hoodie if i knew i was going to be outside but i could walk from my like casino to casino and not take the hoodie off and never even be hot like yeah, if you're standing in the sun, you you can feel it. It's hot, whatever. But it is way more manageable than it is in the south. They call that the dry heat. It's just like when it's cold and you go up in the mountains or something or go over there. It's it's you know really cold, but it's no don't feel as cold as it feels around here because it's less humidity. So it literally went from being freezing in Alabama to just being hot. Like there was not an in between. Yeah, there never is. It's bad. But anyways, my whole point of that was. Vegas is hotter by about 10 degrees, but it feels a lot different. Out with the old, in with the new. 
picking up the canes. Look how clean. Changing props. Why? Trying to get some speed. I've been playing with different props. Came into the relatively new boat. So I've been playing with a lot of props this year, all year. We've been uh tried some four blades, tried some furies, some tempest, uh all kinds of different sizes. Props are kind of hard to get right now too because of the raw mineral raw material shortage. So hard to get props right now. I do, I'm lucky enough to have a few. So I'm about to put the 24 Fury back on the Camus and that's gonna give me the most speed. The 23 Fury gives me a good, really good hole shot, but I can't get many more RPMs out of the 23. I only get about 50 more RPMs dropping down a full pitch of prop. So I lose a lot of top end. This is my new favorite thing, guys. Look. Brand new, Hunter just invented a <laughs> selfie stick. I didn't invent it, but I found it in the house. Look how high up I can get. You can get on my Hold head. on, I can get higher than that. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Look. <laughs> now we're going in here to look at some boats that Kyle's about to buy me. Right. I'll show y'all the boat that Kyle will buy me. Uh. When are you going to buy it for me? You need to flip it around so you can see it. Hold on. He's gonna buy me this boat. They do like this. Not bad. I got one of those. This is what Kyle's gonna buy me. We'll come test drive one. Aren't you? No. Leave a comment below if you want Kyle to buy me one. <laughs> Do we like the gray? It looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Let us know if you could have one brand new boat, would you rather have one of these or a brand new canvas? If you want one of those, I'm gonna cuss at you the whole time you're on the lake. <laughs> I like this color. That is pretty, huh? You like this color? Yeah, it's pretty. We're shopping. We ain't shopping. We're not. We're just looking. Oh. Go grab a truck and break down here. Yeah. Here, what you film putting from? You want to see some real speed? How you doing, Hunter? Hey. You don't like a dirty boat, do you? I did it myself. I Thank appreciate you. it. My pleasure. I knew when I seen the rims shining, I was like, you, you probably did that. You know how many times I wiped them down to get the dirt off? Of <laughs> a lot. I'm going to need some whiskey glasses. Way home. Got the Camus. Everything's falling there. Got stuff rocking and rolling. Got my seatbelt on. Got a 24 pitch Fury on there again. I put a 23 pitch on there, like I said, and a little bit better hole shot, a little bit worse top end, but the hole shot's almost unnoticeable. So back to a 24, and I'll be out running, folks. See y'all tomorrow. Hasta mañana. If y'all like our daily vlogs, please leave a comment below. It ain't over. Like, we might go fish the Dagum tournament tonight, and then we might be vlogging that also. <laughs>